a ridiculous game of football at St. James's Park as Newcastle won by four goals to three. They said on the television at some point, if you were watching the television, I wasn't, I was in the ground, but apparently on the television, they said Newcastle only had a 2% chance of winning. <laughs> well, Charlotte, 98% of the time, Newcastle wouldn't have won, but they won against West Ham, 4-3, fuck off. Here we are, back going to qualify for Europe everything's going to be okay and it's all down to one man the man who changed the game the man with all the decisions the man who made the right call every single time well done our lord and savior 18 year old Lewis Hall. <laughs> he's actually 19 still so. a child he's still a little, very much a child yeah 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 well done though Lewis um yeah Lewis Hall first of all exists is <laughs> not a figment of my imagination which I had been gaslighting myself into believing. Um, Lewis Hall and Harvey Barnes. That's, that's an early Anderson. An early Anderson. All children. <laughs> how, how old is Harvey Barnes? Like 28. Oh, is he? Um, the dad of the group. <laughs> um, and um, yes, yeah, yesterday, what a game of football. 2% is better than 1%. Mm. And no percent. That's a statistical fact. You get them all here on True Faith TV. Um, yeah, he was brilliant yesterday. He was brilliant. He came on. He and the other subs, which, you know, we, we might talk about here, are just changed the game. Um, attacking minded. He was kind of playing. He, was, he wasn't playing in a sort of left back. It was a bit more further advanced than a... Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize to Charlotte now. Oh. This is going to be news to you. You have been brainwashed oh, by watching no, a not centre again. back <laughs> play left back for the best part of two years. So in your head, it's like this isn't what a left back does. Why is he advancing with the ball? Why is he taking away <laughs> a player with the run? Why is he putting a cross in? Why isn't he stood back at the halfway line? Why? Why is only right backs could do that? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You, 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 your, your, your brain is clean because it has been washed, <laughs> but sadly by the cult of Eddie Howe liking lads who once were okay, <laughs> so they always get to play. Oh, wow. What, 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 a, what a nice thing it was to see, though. Here you are. Your eyes are open. <laughs> My eyes are open. I finally... Is the world even round? <laughs> it's flat as a pancake. <laughs> and my brain is... It's as flat as Newcastle's back four for West Ham's first goal. Yeah. Ooh, yikes. Um, it, yeah, it was, it was just... Yes, the dynamism of having a proper left, uh, left back in that kind of position and, and, uh, and, and being able to push the ball up the pitch was great. And Lewis Hall in particular, who there's been a big question mark around this season. We've all wondered what you're doing. Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> Including Eddie Howe. Yeah. <laughs> Those wonderments seem to be in his head too. <laughs> but he proved why yesterday, I think, in, in about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's, um, it was a great game for Holland and other players did do some good stuff and we'll come on to that. Yes. But we are, like we have to say, and I have to say, and I want to say, we're happy. It was a brilliant game to be at. Fantastic. Everything was fun and nice at the end. For the second half. At the end. Mm. Um, but Eddie Howell, just like that substitution of bringing on uh, Kraft, who he later had to resub because he was so shit. Um, Injured, you mean? But then even post-game... Eddie Howe lists the injuries during the game and then Kraft isn't one of them. Though I think yeah. they corrected Maybe it's an that. injured ego. Cor yeah, <laughs> corrected that somewhat <laughs> later on. But, but oh my God, that substitution just killed me. I was just like... If you're Rearrange a, the entire defence. Yeah, like, yeah, rather than play, <laughs> rather rather than than play <laughs> Lewis Hall. <laughs> and it's one of those things where it's like, oh, Lewis Hall must be so bad. He must be so fucking bad. He can't play football. That was my assumption. He must be so bad, you know... If he comes on, he'll he'll have a centre forward next to him with no pressure on the ball for a pass, and he'll play an imaginary offside shot. That's how fucking bad Lewis Hall is. I bet that, that is what Mad Dog said to Eddie Howe just before they picked Kraft, and then fucking ten minutes later or some shit. Oh no, we've made a terrible, <laughs> terrible mistake. I've made a huge mistake. So Lewis Hall was good. He needs to play more, even if you know, like it's not like this is the frustrating thing, Charlotte. Oh, he's making like fists. it's not like. All your left backs are class. It's not like left back is such a secure, strong position in our team that Lewis Hall just has no chance of playing. We're dog shit at left back. And he brought on a kid yesterday who looked like a left back and did some good shit. He did more in that game offensively than any other left back has done this season for Newcastle. That's true. I agree with you. And also, Byrne was on the pitch and he was in his normal yeah, the position right. he should be playing all right in, his, in the position he should normally be in. So... Um, we're not digging him out specifically here. We're just trying this to time. raise up Lewis Hall to the god. It's Easter weekend. That's what you do, right? You you, you raise a football player up to You've the god. You got gods. crucified. 
let's not let's not get okay. into that. Let's talk about the game then, Charlotte, a little bit. Just a small amount for you YouTube viewers. Um, it was a good game, wasn't it? No, uh, not for the first 45 minutes. But yes, overall, good game. And you have to talk about it in the context of the win, how the win came about, and kind of what it was like being in the stadium, which was absolutely unreal from about 70 minutes onwards. It was good. It was a it was a proper game of football. I think I think Eddie Howe said after like that's the Premier League. Or, <laughs> I don't think he said it quite like that, but he was like, "That's what the Premier League's all about." Which I don't think he necessarily would have said if we. I like, I like it because it's like that that you know is the essence of what we are because it allows him to not have to analyze or answer questions about what the fuck his subs were mm. and how he isn't playing his best team. That's the Premier yeah, League. Just a, that, that's just his answer. So <laughs> Elliot Anderson looked like he changed the game and probably should start. Premier League, baby. Premier League, honeybee. <laughs> Let's uh, move on to the next question. The answer in advance is Premier League. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> you going to try and change this product? No. But yeah, Harvey Barnes, he's good. Oh, Who he's knew? fucking great. Not Eddie Howe, because fucking pick him. <laughs> yeah. The thing about Harvey Barnes is it's slightly complicated, isn't it? Because he looked brilliant when he came, like started, broke his foot in a freak accident, was was off for ages, and then did come back and um and just didn't look did slightly look off the mark. And now I'm thinking, oh, in the vein of of what we know about how we've dealt with injuries, did he just come back a bit too soon? Did like was he not ready because he looked ready yesterday and he was fucking class and he's just so confident. He yeah. he like he know he really believes in himself and he said sweet. I watched this little interview after and he he seems like a sweet boy as well. Man. Yeah. Grown he's up definitely man. a man. Um, Grown up man. And you know, both goals are brilliant. The second goal, it's kind of you had to be there. I mean, you watched it as well and I've watched it back many times since. That's how the yeah. internet works. But um it was just one of those moments where it was a privilege to be in the ground because he hits it so well. He hits it actually kind of not in the corner, but in that part of the net between the corner and the post where no, like it's a rule goalkeepers if it goes there, are not allowed to save shots that go in that small part of the net. And yeah, scenes, that's what they used to call them. Maybe scenes, two, 2017 limbs. language, but that's what they used to call it. And it was just a great moment. You know, Anthony Gordon post game does a, an Instagram and a, a Twitter post. Doesn't even reference the red card. Didn't happen. If yeah. I don't, if I don't mention it, I'll get a play. He got given man of the match and then immediately got yeah. sent off. <laughs> really great. And it was one of those. Uh, my friend and true faith fellow contributor Ben Wade was like incandescent. It's like he was deliberately passing the ball back to the goalkeeper who was close to the ball. It's not a red card. It's the referee. I've watched it back. He's kicking the ball away. <laughs> He's deliberately kicking the ball away to waste time. Very silly by Anthony, but we'll forgive him for being fucking class. Mm. Who who's to say, Charlotte? Who I'll say it, but who's to agree? So it's you, you maybe. Right. Um, got it's it. taken Eddie Howe to get like five in-game injuries. Uh, to play what many of us would consider our first choice front three, Gordon, Isak and Barnes. Barnes. And West Ham didn't like it. They didn't West like Ham it. did not like it. They dealt with it. Well, I suppose it was a, a, a timelines. Uh, I don't have the timeline in front of me, but they took off Antonio. We're like, this will be fine. And then we, we suddenly got more attacking and it wasn't fine for them. Great for us. Yeah. And there was a tweet that I saw where West Ham, I think I sent it to you, West Ham fan was like, oh, well, only the football. Soon we'll all be dead. <laughs> it's like, I know how that feels, but <laughs> I'm not on that side of it today. So I'm really happy. For well, our third and final thing, Charlotte, we should uh, talk about the um, obvious comparison to this, which is 2nd of February 1997, Seven. Newcastle 4, Leicester 3. The last time in the Premier League, they came back 3-1 down to win a game, I think. Uh, and yeah, it's spooky. Why is that? It's spooky because not only was the scoreline the same, not only was it that we came back. That never happened. The scorelines are never the same. Let me finish. <laughs> I'm I'm doing some exposition here. Um, not only was it us coming back to create that scoreline again, that doesn't happen very often. Um, but every one of our goals um, was scored. Every one of our goals after. The first, I think, was scored in exactly the same minute. All of our three goals to win the game uh, were scored in exactly the same minute that those three goals were scored in the Leicester game. And the penalty given to Isak at the beginning of the game was given in the exact same minute as the Leicester game. So in the third like minute. all four goals, really. So basically all four goals, with like, the exact match same minute. up with, um, with those goals. It's fucking weird. Um, 
how why do you think that happened <laughs> yeah <great> you <laughs> chance <laughs> i don't know you could you could go really deep into this and, and like you say are we real is any of this real are we just repeating lewis hall is i know that now yeah history you know is is in i don't know how far ago was 1997 a few years 30 20, odd years, 27 years or something 27 years yeah ago. like maybe in 27 years time this is just how it works has anyone gone back to fucking 1973 no and checked that we didn't win 4-3 with the same goals or maybe some I'll take a look m- maybe like newcastle are just so bad at defending currently that this is going to keep happening but it was our goals that we scored it's the wasn't goal. it? It wasn't nothing the to do defending. with defense well for the three goals conceded to do with defense but yeah the, well the, that's not what we're talking about <laughs> what winning four three we're not talking about the, the what's time. your what's your explanation then robson robson <laughs> you don't call me that um i feel like it's i'm football. in trouble football chat, football chat. We well, host, I guess my explanation is that um, it's a magical Easter weekend and it's some kind of like supernatural power that really enjoyed the Leicester game <laughs> um, back in 1997 and really wanted to emulate it. So that, that was their way of doing it. Supernatural power. The Easter. higher power, whatever you believe in. Easter, if you believe in that. Yeah, two years ago on no. Easter. Bruno oh. uh, scored his 90th, 94th minute winner and took a shirt off. So took a shirt off. Easter at St. James's <laughs> Sky Sports. Was it the one where we tried to take his pants off as well? I think, yeah. yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet memories. Should we leave it there? Let's leave it there. <laughs> okay. If you'd like to ask us a question for our next video, use the hashtag AskTFTV. And leave us a comment. We love comments. Thank you so much for watching.